Well, hello everyone. The weather's beautiful here in Utah. I think we're gonna have a great program. We've got several great customer reviews, some good questions. Get your cellular sizer out. We're going to do the routine that we tried to do a couple weeks ago when the weather was stormy. Um, it's totally different today. So I think everything's gonna be great. I wanna thank all of you for participating and for sharing the program with other people who, uh, who have also joined us. So it's, uh, it's great to be, to be able to share some of this information with you. It's wonderful to see you sharing it with other people. And I love hearing your results. So please keep them coming. If you have any questions, Brooklyn's behind the camera right now and she can field any questions you have to me. I'm gonna go through a list of the questions we have right now. Again, get your solar sizer out. We're gonna do a little program last time. Last time we spoke, we were going to do a program for the knees, and we're still going to do that. So the program we were going to do two weeks ago, we will do tonight. But I'd like to start off with a little story I heard. It says, thanks to a very healthy lifestyle, a married couple lived well into their hundreds. One day they were both killed in a tragic car accident, and they went to heaven. On the first morning, they went up to God and they asked him, where is the gym? And God replies, well, you don't need a gym here. You'll always be in perfect shape, even if you never exercise. The wife says, how nice that is. But the husband, he looks a little annoyed. In the afternoon, they go back to God and they ask, where can they get the high factor sunscreen? Well, this is heaven. You don't need it anymore. The sun can't burn you or give you cancer. Enjoy the beaches. The wife is satisfied. But now the husband is genuinely looking angry. Later in the evening, they go back to God and they ask where they can find a healthy food restaurant for dinner. Well, we don't have health food restaurants. You can eat as much as you want, whatever you want, and never feel bloated or gain any weight. Finally, the husband snaps and yells at his wife. You see, you see, if it wasn't for your silly bran muffins, I could have been here 40 years ago. <laughs> hey, a little humor. All right. Okay. So Kelly writes, I got my solar sizer last week. And maybe it's just wishful thinking, but I don't think so because both of my parents say they think they can see a difference too. But just from doing the baby bounce and a few other moves, and especially doing the stretching, the neck back feels so much better. And I feel like under my chin area is looking less double chin like. Loving it. And each time I walk past it, I just have to do the baby bounce for a minute or two. Kelly, that's the kind. <laughs> That reminds me of me when I got started. I really had no idea it was going to have the kind of effect it did on me. We had a question I wanted to read that we had uh, the other day. It says, I'm having pain in my right knee since February 2023. Doctor thinks it's a torn meniscus. Waiting to get an MRI. Doing physical therapy now twice a week. I mentioned to my doctor of physical therapy that I had been bouncing on my cellar sizer and she said, I should not. I told her, it's not jarring. It doesn't have a jarring effect on my knees. It actually feels good. What do you think? I miss being on my solar sizer. Help. And Mary writes, I can testify my knees are doing extremely well on the solar sizer. As I continue daily, I can feel those ligaments and muscles supporting my kneecap strengthening and the whole joint feels more stable. The slight swelling I normally had on one knee seems to be gone. My sports medicine doctor just loves that I'm rebounding. So here you have a couple different perspectives. Now, one of them relates to an injury and meniscus. And I talked about that a couple weeks ago and how you can wear support with the knee, um, just getting one of those socks at, at Walmart and just doing gentle movement. Again, I have to say consult with your doctor or have your doctor feel free to give me a call, but simple movements like this, very easy. Getting to the point where you can work the whole structure of the knee, 
can be very helpful. Eventually, you're rocking side to side, so you're working the lateral knee. Those are just some of the graduated movements that we can take on our road to health. That made a huge difference in me. So, this one, um, their name is Fueled by Plants. I bought my cellar sizer earlier this year and just love it. All those other folks who say they found such a big difference when they moved from a generic rebounder to a cellar sizer are so right! Exclamation point. The superior quality is easy to see. I also had the honor of talking with Dave. Thank you, Dave, for being so generous with your time. Thank you for sharing. And it does make a difference. And the cellar sizer is different. And we've already gone over many of the reasons why, but it's designed to last. We have people 20 and 30 years later still using the same cellar sizer. Lorraine. Hello, Dave. My sister gave me her cellar sizer four years ago when she moved, and initially I was only using it for about five minutes in the mornings. Having had another brand of rebounder back in the day when they were popular, not really like using it much. I didn't realize at first how different your cellar size rebounders are. Fast forward to today. I've been doing your immune workout daily for over a year, and I also have used some of your other videos and usually bounce longer to my favorite music. You are correct. I'm playing and love every minute of it. I call myself a born-again cellar sizer and recommend it to everyone I meet. Recently recommended it to my son's mechanic who was telling me about his old injuries and daily pain. Last May, I bought a trifold to take with me on a three-week vacation because I could not imagine being without it for that long. It travels beautifully, and I am so grateful and amazed at the engineering and design. Also, when I compared my sister's well-used cellar sizer to my new trifold, I was amazed that the action was the same. I guess I expected the older version to have more give for years of use. That's a great point. The springs on our cellar sizer do not stretch out like typical rebounder springs can. The matte material, that matte material is a space age material. It doesn't stretch out. So it continues to support you, which is very important because we have people that will get a, a rebounder for several hundred dollars, but less than the solar sizer, only to be using it for month, two, three months, and the mat starts to stretch. It doesn't feel the same, and now their feet are pronating. We want to avoid that. I also use Total Gym for strength training, but I completely agree with what you've said in your videos regarding how traditional strength training can cause problems. I've started to incorporate some strength training moves that you have shown for cellar size and when I'm using the total gym. I take one minute bounce breaks between sets and you mentioned how strength trainers have been doing that and have had better recovery and faster results. My recent bone density test was excellent. Last Friday, my daughter, 24, and I went up to Davis to rock climb with my son, 22, who is attending college there. It was my first time and I loved it. And I was so pleased and grateful that I climbed straight up several times. And grateful that I, oh, and without feeling weak or winded. And although I like to think of myself as being age 38, I'm 62 years old. So, so grateful. Lastly, I've noticed that many people in my age range seem to have given up hope or do not think that there is a way to feel better, have more energy and be physically younger. I want to buy them all a cellar sizer. <laughs> I wish I could do that too. You have spoken about mental and spiritual health, and I always appreciate when you do. Everything starts from our thinking and what we are telling ourselves. And I try and always speak life to myself and others. God bless you and thank you from the bottom of my heart. You are making a huge difference in people's lives. So are you, Lorraine. Thank you. This was, uh, I'm sure, appreciated by many. Oh. Questions? Okay. Okay, Rita writes. I started my weight loss journey April of 2022 at age 46. I was 177 pounds, if not more. 
I've done everything for 30 years to lose weight. Crazy fad diets, strange exercises, I'd had enough of it all. I started my program 20 minutes a day and I worked up to an hour a day. Ooh, I was losing weight. I couldn't believe it. I added something different, ropeless jump ropes. I was able to do this over an hour every day. I just couldn't believe I was doing it. Everyone wanted to know what I was doing. Somehow I had invented my own exercise program and ended up losing 40 pounds. And by the way, you can do that jump roping program that she's mentioning on the subtle size of the G-forces. Just make it that much more intense. I can do my physically demanding job better than ever. I do not miss a day. It's part of my routine. I am getting ready to exercise as a matter of fact, but want to take the time to tell you how much the equipment means to me. I wouldn't be without it. If I can turn my weight around, anyone can. I will say that it has, has to be done every single day for me. Just start up slow and build up. If you miss a day, don't beat yourself over it. Up it, over it. I stand 5'8 and 137 pounds now, 24 inch waist. When I turn 48, I hope to still be jumping. Thank you, Dave, and thank you, Jerry. Your merchandise is saving people's health. There are also other side effects such as staying regular and having great skin. If you want to stay youthful, this is a ticket. Wishing you all the best of health. And thank you, Rita. Hi, Dave. Wanted to give you my two-year update on using a cellar sizer. First of all, I love it. 30 pounds lighter. I've given away all my exercise equipment because a cellar sizer is all you really need. I need for, wear from 10 to 25 minutes a day that I bounce and I feel great and look so much better. The added benefit, and I don't understand it, is I feel so happy when I'm solar sizing. I feel happy afterwards as well. It's truly addicting. Who doesn't want to feel happy? Money cannot buy happiness. I know I've tried. This thing is truly something special. Sometimes I refer to it as my happy sizer. Thank you, Dave, for perfecting the trampoline. It's worth every penny. Sign me Happy Robin. And I know we've, we read this recently. Happy Robin. Thank you for sharing that again. Okay, I was busy recommending the cellar size of my sister who had just been diagnosed with osteoporosis. The cellar size is not on many lists of weight-bearing exercises, and it should be. A reminder about what Dave says on his website about osteoporosis. Cellar sizing creates a weight-bearing activity without the jar of typical exercise. So the bones are stimulate, stimulated in their osteoblastic activity to utilize minerals and remodel as well as build bone density. I couldn't have said that better. Well said. We have many wonderful written testimonials from our customers who have had severe degenerative bone problems and have been able to report remarkable benefits with the cellar sizer. Yours truly, Kathy. Thank you, Kathy. Okay, a couple more. I've never liked to exercise and never stick with any type of exercise for long, but I actually look forward to cellar sizing twice a day even and don't want to miss a single day. Even got skeptical, hu skeptical hubby hooked. We went away for the weekend and brought it with us and used it in the hotel room. I'm 69 and the skin on my inner thighs has started to hang in the last year or so. In just a week after starting, I got out of the shower and noticed the sagging inner thighs were no longer sagging. What? I wish I had taken a before picture, but who would have thought? Joan. And Catherine writes, Wanted to report the vis invisible benefits of cellular sizing. My doctor was assured that my cholesterol numbers, with my cholesterol numbers, I would have plaque lodged in my vessels. The calcium score CT scan was done this morning, and I'm at zero. That means no plaque in my vessels. The best news is the fact this fact may convince my husband to believe in the balance. Thank you, Dave, and the cellular size family. And thank you very much. Okay. Let's read some questions. My health concern is osteoporosis. So I run in my family and I'm, I am a petite female. It runs in my family, sorry. And I'm a petite female. So I have a higher risk. I saw Dave's DVD that came with a unit that when we jump higher that creates greater force and is more weight bearing on the body. Does that mean that it is more beneficial for me to jump higher if I want to prevent osteoporosis? You don't have to jump higher. If you jump too high, it can actually be, give a negative effect. So jumping, yeah, just jumping, 
like this, tensing the body up and just jumping like that, is going every, <laughs> you're going to be putting weight, a lot of weight, just feel your shoulders, feel up here. That increase of G-force or weight is on everything. So yes, jumping on the cellular sizer helps promote osteoblastic activity, it helps strengthen bones. What can I use for this spring squeaking noise? Okay, I want you to listen to this because it's built just like yours is. That's how quiet it can be. I put a drop of oil on both ends of each spring, a couple drops when I first, uh, a new unit, on both sides of each spring so that the, the oil and the steel become very polished. And over time it becomes quieter and quieter and quieter. You can actually see that on our website. If you go to the uh, menu bar, things over on the left hand side, it'll have a drop down menu that says care and maintenance. It'll actually show you how to do that. I've had a knee replacement and have arthritis. My husband has heart disease. What exercises do you remember us, recommend for us? Well, again, I can't make a recommendation. I can show what people are doing. If you have a health issue or condition, it's, you need to check with your doctor or your health practitioner. But that being said, these gentle movements help to strengthen the supporting muscles and ligaments around the knee. And as they get stronger, then um, often those knee issues just fade away. So standing on the cellular side, a gentle movement up and down to warm up the tissue. Remember, all the cells are expanding and contracting as well. Sitting down slightly and walking in place, that's going to work to strengthen all those supporting muscles and ligands in the front of the knee. Rocking side to side helps to work the lateral knee, both sides of the knee. Very few exercises will do that. And that's just the beginning. There's other more advanced movements when you get to that point, you know, either give me a call or take a look on our, our website for some of those examples. And as far as heart disease, again, check with your doctor. If you can do exercise, then cellular size is, I believe, the best exercise you can do for the heart because it pumps with the heart. So even if the heart is in a weakened condition and you're moving up and down, you're helping to move that circulation through the entire pulmonary circulatory system, just like that. It's also weight-bearing on the heart, so it can help strengthen the heart. Again, consult with your doctor, make sure that exercise is okay, but I, I don't hope anything is better. And we've worked with cardiologists as well. What are the best moves to fix rounded shoulders, also a tech neck? Okay, we've talked a little bit about this, and if, if you just take your shoulders and curl them back a little bit, so you move your posture back, Lift your head back slightly. Don't do too much. You don't want to irritate a nerve. But as you hold that position and then balance, the muscles have to flex around that new alignment. And remember, our back is dependent upon the muscular, muscular system to support the skeletal system. The skeletal system can't support itself. So this movement right here starts to strengthen all of these muscles. Um, as far as the tech neck, again, just taking that head that might be forward a little bit, just moving it back slightly, and then bouncing so that those muscles are, and you can feel, take your fingertips, feel those muscles as you're moving up and down. They're, that's a huge um, benefit. Okay, I'm a 68-year young female. I purchased a cellar size a few months ago and love it. I have about... 20 pounds to lose. I don't want to purchase and pay for the app. What would you recommend for weight loss routine? And we've got, <laughs> we have great programs for weight loss on the, the Mr. Rebounder app. If you go to our YouTube channel, we've actually done live some of those weight loss programs. Um, you can find that and use it on YouTube. The advantage to the Mr. Rebounder app is you're not going to have me talking all the time. So, but if, if you prefer that, that that's, that's one way to do it. You want to oxygenate the cells. Cells need oxygen to burn calories, utilize nutrients. And so the power breathing technique that opens up the bronchial tubes in the lungs, increases oxygen to the bloodstream is, is important to do when you're first starting off, I believe. You don't do too much though. Maybe do six breaths because it's a literal exercise for the bronchial tubes in the lungs. And that's done again by bending at the knee, hands right here, 
Stand straight up, breathe in, come down, breathe out. All done through the mouth. And it's a little forceful, but it helps to clear out the lungs and the bronchial tubes and strengthen them at the same time. So it's going. And you can tell that that's how it works. All right. Don't do too much. You might get a little dizzy. Nothing seems to bring my blood pressure down. Can you talk about how the solar size can bring down blood pressure, any particular moves? Just getting on the solar size or moving up and down, it helps back flush the valves. That pressure, gentle pressure, helps open up blood vessels. It's like an internal scrub brush as well. So standing on the solar size or just relaxing, moving up and down, putting on some good music, um, Meditative music would be best. And then just gently, gently bouncing to relieve the stress and tension and increase the circulation. Now, in addition to that, the aerobic activity, fantastic. It um, can affect blood sugar levels as well as high blood pressure. And that's just jogging like this. But again, consult with your doctor to see what you can do. What is the best rebounding workout for sitting at the desk all day? <laughs> it's bouncing... Is bouncing at a standing desk possible? I've wondered that same thing. Um, yeah, but I haven't tried it. I've got a standing desk that lifts up, but there's not enough room to put my cellar sizer between the cellar sizer and the, the side of the desk. Um, could you do it? I've done it on radio programs. I've talked on radio programs. I, um, I don't know. Let me know. Let me know what you think. I don't have an answer for that one. Hi, Dave and cellar size family. A friend generously gave me her old generic rebounder just after the pandemic hit. That is when I discovered Dave Hall and started watching his live videos. I've learned so much from those videos and I so appreciate that Dave is so generous with his time. I was finally able to purchase my own very own solar sizer just a couple weeks ago. What a difference. Bouncing is easier, less jarring, more fun, and it's so quiet. Hey! <laughs> I use it almost every day and hope this will bring me, help me avoid osteoporosis. I watched the video that came with the unit and I think Dave said that if you jump higher, there's more weight on your body when at the bottom of the bounce. Is that correct? If so, would jumping higher be beneficial for osteoporosis? That's very, very similar to that with the other question. And yes, the movement up and down, just you don't have to jump high, um, but just apply weight. The advantage of cellular size, if you're jumping up and down on the ground, like jump rope, that's also weight bearing, but it's also jarring. You get that same motion on a cellular sizer, you, just, you have the same weight, but you're utilizing that weight now without the jarring effect. And that increase of weight is what causes the bones to become stronger or the body to utilize the mineral content to promote that, what we call the osteoblastic activity. Can I do this if I have gallstone and polyps in my gallbladder? I'm waiting to have surgery, but months from now. And again, that's a, that's a really good question. Um, I know that this gentle twisting motion is like a massage for the gallbladder, as well as the pancreas, the adrenals, the intestines and colon. So that, that movement, liver, is I think the second most beneficial movement that we can do on the solar sizer for a lot of reasons. Um, one of the questions related to digestion elimination processes. And again, this gentle twist, rocking side to side, lifting your arms and shoulders up, great for the back, hips, but it's also taking the colon. Colon wraps up and around here, and it's helping to move that colon. Very common for people to have much better digestion or elimination processes and starting their elimination process just by doing that movement. This movement here is just, again, is up and down inside to side. I don't know of anything that has been as beneficial as that. If you take a digestive aid, that's like putting soap in the washing machine and turning it on. Um, it can be helpful in, in our digestion elimination processes. Okay. Yep, we read those.
All right. Are there any questions, Brooklyn? Um, when a spring breaks, does it actually break or just crack? How will you know that it happens? If <laughs> break, yeah. Well, you'll know because it'll just it. You'll hear a pop. You'll hear a little pop, and then the spring breaks. I've never broken one personally, but I know that there are people that have. When you stay more centered than a cellar sizer, in over 30 years, I've never broken a spring. I use my cellar sizer. We all use it every day. Has anybody ever broken a spring, Brooklyn, in the house? No. No. Nobody's ever. We've never broken a spring, and we're always using it. We're using it pretty intensely. What breaks the spring more often than not is if you're jumping too high, like on a big trampoline, it's not designed for that. Or if you do jumping jacks. Now people say, oh, I do jumping jacks, so I don't land on the spring. Well, you'll land real close to the spring, if not on it. Landing on that spring or right next to it, that can fracture a spring. And that's what causes the spring to break. And it may be fractured from somebody else using it. And, and it breaks on you. But we can avoid that. If we're doing the jumping jacks, and again, you've seen me do it, I just do a glorified jumping jack where I kind of lean forward and pull my hands up and down over my head. And that's my jumping jack. But it keeps me more centered in the mat so we don't break and compromise the springs. Any, any other questions? All right. Well, let's turn on the Mystery Bounder app. And... I'll get started on this. Now, if, if we're doing something and it's, you're not comfortable doing the movement, just as a default, do the hip rock. Because the hip rock, we're still working the thighs and the knees. So, if, um, again, if the movement seems too, too advanced. Let me turn my pad on. Give me one second here. Okay, so you'll be able to watch this. Um, the movements, I can post the movements later. So you can, if you have the Mr. Rebounder app, you can actually put those movements on your own personal um, routine as well. But this is about 17 minutes long. And can they see that all right? Pretty. All right, so let's get started. I always forget that. What I'm going to do first, for those of you who have the, uh, the little wireless module, it counts the number of steps, the intensity, and the number of calories you actually burn. So I'm going to turn that on, connect it, connect it. Go back and we're going to start again. It's in my workouts. So this one there. We are ready. Thank you. 
Because as we're doing this, we're using the biggest muscles of the body. So if you need more, if it needs to be more intense, just sit down a little bit further. Kind of lift those feet up a little bit. 30 seconds to go. And I encourage you, if you know people that have knee problems or weight loss issues, if you feel good about the program, you feel good about this presentation, share it. Share it with those that might benefit from it. We thank you for doing that. Three, two, one. Sea Patrol. Okay, so this one here, you can hold on to the bar, it's a little easier. But jumping side to side, now we're working the lateral knee, both sides of the knee, as well as the hips. We're still working the back. We're moving through it through the body. It's a good movement for pumping the lymph system, the lymphatic system too.
to your face for one minute. You want to lift your knees up high if you can.
throw at number two for a minute.
that for those who think that's too easy, just run a little faster or do the jungle run a little bit more. And for those where that's not quite up to their level, you just substitute it whenever you need to with the hip rock. And you can join in again when you feel capable. Well done. If you stayed through it, give us a thumbs up. Let us know. Appreciate it. Feel free again. Share this program with others. Keep being so supportive. You guys are absolutely incredibly wonderful. I read a lot of your comments and they're uplifting. Thank you for that. Have fun. We'll see you in a couple weeks.